I sent 20,000 cold DMs and I booked around 1,578 sales calls. This is the first cold DM that I ever sent. I was actually just starting out. I literally had no clue how to get clients. And this was actually a friend of mine that I was texting. He owned a coaching business and I realized his Instagram was kind of lacking. So I just said, hey, do you need help growing on Instagram? And he actually turned into my first client, which became a $3,000 per month retainer. Now on that one, I think I just got lucky. But over the last two years, I've sent over 20,000 DMs. And now I know how to consistently book sales calls without any luck. And honestly, not, not to brag, but I, I do honestly think that I'm the best at this. My clients' clients get better results than some people. Some of our clients uh, using your strategies, like they book like three calls in a day, uh, two calls in a day. So it's working. But it definitely didn't start out this way. I was very bad in the beginning. This is actually the second client I got from doing cold DMs. I was maybe a hundred messages in at the time and I actually sent this to a Facebook business page. I actually just copied and pasted a ton of messages to all these companies and it said Tampa in every single one of them. So the guy says, we aren't from Tampa. And I just try to save myself by saying, yeah, I just said that to get your attention, LOL. This was a bad excuse to save a conversation, but he kept the conversation going and eventually he turned into my second client. From there, I bought a few courses. I sent a couple hundred more messages out and a lot of them were very bad. And I started testing with the building rapport approach. This is just a strategy where you're just saying, hey, how's it going, bro? How's your Friday been? How's business? Rather than going with a direct offer. Now I did this because a lot of people in the market were already doing this and when I would do my direct offers, people would say, do you ask a girl to marry you on the first date? So I would just start the conversations with, hey, how's your business going? Out of the hundreds of messages that I sent like this, I've only booked one sales call from it. It was actually with this guy, his name is Bashal. He actually became a pretty good friend and partner, but he never paid me anything. So, so I wasn't really making any real money from the strategy. And if you talk to anybody else that does this building rapport approach, they'll say that it takes a lot of conversation back and forth with these people to try to convince them to give you some money because you're going from nothing, hey, how are you doing? To, hey, give me money. And it's like trying to bridge the gap from let's talk about your kids to let's talk about how I can help you with your business is a very wide cap. So I went back to having a direct offer with a subtle call to action at the end. I've got 37 companies that need your cleaning services this month. Are you open to chat? Something like that. And it worked wonders because you can only respond three ways to this message. No, how, or yes. And this became my first principle of cold outreach, which is be direct. Have an offer that your audience actually wants. Go out with a specific end result that your audience will get out of the offer that you're providing. Now, what about the people that say, you don't ask a girl to marry you on the first date, do you? No, you don't. And this is a lot different from getting someone to marry you. When you're getting married to somebody, you have a lot of risk at play. You're spending time and money just to get married with the added bonus of the risk of them leaving you, taking all your money and making you pay child support. So it's hard in that situation to get someone to say yes within the first interaction. And so as I started to send thousands of more messages, I started to realize that the offers that I had that worked better had little to no risk involved. And so that became my second principle, which is minimize risk as much as possible. So the art behind a quality cold outreach message is just to convince them that there is little to no risk. So they're not gonna lose any time or money and then there's only upside. And so in a lot of my offers, I would say what I don't do. So there's no paid ads, there's no retainer, there's no setters. Because at that point they become curious. They're like, how do you get appointments without paid ads, retainer or a setter? So I started using the being direct and minimizing risk strategies throughout all my channels, Facebook, SMS, LinkedIn, email, and it started working wonders. I was getting a ton of book sales calls and Facebook was really my main strategy. And so I thought about what if I just started posting into Facebook groups. So I started posting basically the same exact offer that I would send in my messages. Like, hey, I can help you get end result without any certain pain, are you open to chat? And these posts would get hundreds and hundreds of comments. And it was so easy to get on sales calls and close these people because they were coming to you and saying, hey, I want your help with this thing. And so you have the authority position there. But that ended up with me getting kicked out of a lot of Facebook groups. So if I were you, what I would do is if your niche doesn't care about self-promotion or if the Facebook group that you're trying to post in doesn't really care about you promoting yourself, like if there's other people posting and promoting themselves, then it's probably okay for you to do it. So as I started to get kicked out of more Facebook groups, I started to realize how powerful it was to be able to come into a Facebook group that someone spent time and money and energy and posted content trying to build it up and then I just got to rip all of it away from them by posting one thing and then taking their audience. Like this is the equivalent of having access to Mr. Beast's YouTube channel and just being able to post whatever you want. That would be amazing, but unfortunately it was just a pipe dream and people don't really like when you take their clients. So I decided to start my own Facebook group that no one could kick me out of. <laughs> and uh, I started to build my own list. Now, when you read a lot of these business books, a lot of them will talk about having your own list. Now, for me, I never really thought of myself as a, like a real business person yet. And so at that point I was like, I don't really need to have my own list. 
But as I started to grow my Facebook group, my YouTube channel, my, my email list and my SMS list, I started to realize how powerful it actually is to have an SMS and email list of people that I can send an email to you whenever I want and I can pitch you my offer and you'll have a ton of people saying that yes, I'm interested in your offer and so you can basically get sales whenever you want. Anyways, back to DMing. As I started to send thousands of more messages, I tried to spark as much curiosity as possible and then people started asking how rather than yes or no. And then I just explained my process and then get them onto a sales call and they were genuinely curious and genuinely interested in hopping on a sales call with me because they were curious. And this leads me to my next principle, which is add curiosity. Curiosity is one of the biggest triggers in copywriting. I'm sure we've all seen the link that said, hey, don't click this link, you'll regret it. Or, hey, don't search this up on Google, you'll regret it. You know, and then you instantly become curious. You instantly want to do that thing, right? So in our outreach message, we want to try to get them to respond with, how does that work? And an easy way to add curiosity to your offer is just by seeing what everybody else is doing and then doing the exact opposite. So how can I be different than what everybody else is doing? Or just using a different fulfillment system than what everybody else is doing. So for example, my offer, I can help you get 120 appointments per month without any ads, without any retainer, and there's no setters involved. The reason it sounds so good is because it's different than what everybody else is offering. Everybody else is offering paid ads, retainers, or appointment setters. And so if I can get you the result that you want without the pain that you experienced with the last guy that you worked with, then how, how are you doing it, right? How, how am I getting those results? And that's another thing. Try to make the thing that you're doing different, a pain point that they experience with someone else. So as an example, how to get 12 inch biceps without lifting any weights. Another way you can add curiosity is just by making a different container word or system that you're using. So if you literally just added AI to your outreach message, I'm sure you'll get a ton more calls. So if I just did, hey, I can get you 120 appointments through my AI outreach system. I'm sure you would be interested. You post that on Twitter, I guarantee it's gonna blow up. You're welcome. How I got 50 SMMA clients through doctor's notes. What even is that? How is that even possible? I wanna respond. And then one thing I do a lot is I just try to look at what other companies are doing. Like I look at Jeff Bezos and Amazon, so it's two day free shipping and one click purchasing. So I just did, I've got a one click appointment system if you're interested and that offer did a ton of sales for me. But back to my message, I was getting sales calls and closed deals, no problem. But then I started to realize something. People were stealing my message and just using the exact same script that I was using. And so people would literally say, I've already heard this before. I've already received 50 messages today with the same exact offer. And I realized I just had to change something up. So I knew the offer was really good, but I just needed to add some flair to the message to get people to respond again. So then I just started trying to add funny intros to try to get people to respond. Adding comedy and curiosity in the same message is a game changer. So in my intros, I would just feed off of what the market was saying. So if they said, I already got a million messages today with the same offer, I would say, I know this is your 1,348,764th message you've received today, but I promise my offer's different. And this worked amazing. It was funny, people thought I was on their side, and so this became my fourth principle, which is add flair and be different. If everyone's saying the same thing, how can you position your offer differently or add something to the message that makes it funny or makes them curious? Now, you can steal my 1 million message intro, but the thing is, I'll tell you that a lot of other people started stealing the exact same message again. So they saw what I was doing, they stole the message. So I started getting more replies to people saying, I already heard this message. And so me and my team just came up with dozens and dozens of funny intros that we could use in our outreach message. We also came up with a ton of hooks. Hooks are things that you can add to the end of the message that makes it more funny or more curious, or you can also use them as follow-up messages. I made it publicly available. You can access it in the swipe file below. And so you can mix and match just uh, an intro, an offer, and a hook. Bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a good outreach message. But again, the whole thing about this is be different. So you can use my swipe files, you can copy everything that I do, but the thing is, is that if you create your own variants, if you just do something slightly different than what I'm doing, you're probably gonna get a ton better results. So when I put these four principles together, being direct, reducing risk, add curiosity, and adding flair, I was able to get 120 sales calls per month consistently. Now this works really well for social channels. I have a separate process for SMS and email. So if you want a video on that, I can make a video. Just let me know by leaving a like. I'm also creating a mastermind where you'll have two calls a week with me. I'll help you create your outreach message, find the target audience that you wanna reach out to and automate your systems to get 120 book sales calls per month. If you're interested, you can book a call below. I'll talk to you guys soon.